What is up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today we're going to be doing a review of the JBL Flip 3. But before we get into that, we need to give a shout out to last week's first comment which was by Page Family Vlog, and I want to thank you guys for being the very first person to leave feedback on my newest video. So before we get into this video, I need to thank my friend Michael for letting me borrow the speaker. He's actually had the speaker for some time and he let me borrow it so that I can record a bunch of videos on it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this review. <laughs> Today I'll be reviewing the JBL Flip 3. This little portable speaker will cost you only $65, and it is completely worth it. The Flip 3 has two 8 watt speakers and two passive radiators on the side, similar to the JBL Charge. This portable speaker uses Bluetooth 4.1 technology, so you can still play your music up to 30 feet away. The JBL Flip 3 also has a great battery for its size. It has a 3000 mAh battery, and you can fully charge the speaker in about three and a half hours as well. Next, this speaker is splash proof, so you can rinse it off and spray it, but JBL emphasizes not to submerge it, so don't throw it in a pool. This speaker also supports JBL Connect, so you can connect a bunch of these speakers together and play them all at the same time. The JBL Flip also has an audio jack, and it uses a micro USB cable to charge and both of these ports are hidden under a flap. This portable speaker also has very nice buttons. They are very big, but they're still sleek and don't stick out too much. On the side of the speaker, you can see lights representing how much battery life is left as well. This speaker also supports phone calls, and when I tested it out, it worked really well. Another cool thing about the speaker is that you can attach a rope to it so that you can carry it easier. If you don't like it, you can just take it off too. One of my favorite things about this speaker is the fabric texture wrapped around it. It is surprisingly durable as well. One thing that annoys me about the speaker is that the ends of it are not perfectly flat, they both slant in a little. So so the passive radiators are at a slant. I'm not too sure why they designed it this way, but it still looks great. So the most important part is sound quality, and this speaker nailed it. It gets really loud and it sounds really clear. The best part is that it has really good bass, and especially for its size. It definitely stands out when compared to the Anchor Soundcore, but it does not sound quite as good as the JBL Charge 3 when it comes to bass at least but it is like half the price, so it's pretty good comparing it to a $120 JBL charge. One thing I really liked about the speaker is its size. It is easy hold and not too heavy, and it's small and really portable, yet gets really loud. So overall, I think this portable speaker is great. It looks really good and sounds even better. So here's a quick sound test of the JBL Flip 3. I wanna see the light. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about the JBL Flip 3. If you did, make sure you drop a big thumbs up. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, just go down to the comment section below and I'll try my hardest to respond to every single one of you guys. Also, if you guys enjoy tech content, I would consider subscribing and turning on notifications because I upload every Saturday. So that basically sums up this week's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. It is touching the truth.